Hey guys, let's talk about what your butt's doing right now. Alright guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Casmo, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, welcome to Rotor Wash Studios 2.0. It's uh, in the design phase, being redesigned. And as everyone knows, it's located on the top floor of the Pull Pitch Productions Media Mega Center. And uh, yeah, just kind of throwing down some carpet, had some uh, construction work done uh, that I did myself, uh, just building some desks, working on the hobby section back there. In fact, right now I'm working on a uh, containment area for my 3D printer and have some exhaust get out of here so I don't poison myself, uh, but also just doing some work with the lighting and things like that. And uh, as I was getting ready to move back down here from uh, New Jersey, where I was doing some flight training, uh, I was contacted by a company called Ewin, Ewin Gaming, uh, which does a series of chairs and desks. And we'll take a look at the website and I'll show you. But uh, they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to do a product review. So I said, sure, I'll take a look at your chairs. I don't really need a desk, but uh, yeah, I'd like a, a new chair and we'll, we'll see what goes on with it. Now, there is no money exchanging hands on this. I just want to be very clear about that, uh, that this is a, as honest a review as I can make of it. I'm going to tell you what I think about the chairs, what I think is good, what I think is bad. They know that as well, but just want you to understand, if you decide to go buy one, it's not filling my purse strings. That's stupid. It's not filling my pockets at all. Uh, it's just informational for you guys. Uh, there is a promo code that if uh, you want to use, uh, you could get you 20% off. So you can take a look at the website and I'll put the promo code uh, down in the description notes below. But let's take a look at the website and see what chair I got. So after they contacted me, they told me to just take a look at the website and figure out what kind of chair I'd like. And eventually I just decided on the Champion Series, which has a variety of colors. Uh, unfortunately, I did not go with the rabbit and bunny ears. Uh, I know that's probably disappointing to many of my fans. Uh, but they do have a variety of chairs, such as the Knight series, the Calling series, all these other series which have kind of different features. And they do have a couple different desks. Uh, this one's even got some lighting on it. And uh, a couple other things here, a floor mat and a fascia gun. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so we uh, decided on the Champion series chairs, and I picked this orange and black design, which I thought looked kind of cool, like a bumblebee. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the chair was delivered and we started to put it together. Uh, it took me about uh, 20, 30 minutes. I was doing it by myself and some of the parts were actually pretty heavy and it was just kind of awkward to put it together. So maybe get a friend to help you out. So my first impressions, again, just putting it together, it, it was heavy. So I knew that it was going to be sturdy. I knew uh, from our discussion that it was you know, rated to hold 400 pounds. So it was probably going to be a very uh, robust chair and it was uh, first time getting into it. What can I say? It, it's actually a comfortable chair. Um, I enjoyed it. I will admit that I went into this thinking eh, it's probably going to be whatever, just a chair. Uh, but I, I, I actually like it. The, uh, the bottom seat is really thick, um, really nice cushioning. And then what I really like is the back. And that's really kind of why I, I chose this one is it's got this lumbar support, which can slide pretty much all the way up. Uh, to the middle and the top of your back, and then it's got this pillow that uh, can also be adjusted. Now, one critique I'll have about those pillows is they basically just kind of strap into the back, uh, and then there's a, these slots so they can slide up and down. I think over time, those those straps will probably just kind of wear out a little bit, and so they might fall and not really r remain in place. Uh, it's something you could easily fix yourself with like a, a safety clip or something, but I think maybe in future designs, if they just put some sort of drawstring or some sort of, you know, strap tightener on there, I think it would be super helpful. Now, as far as parts moving, uh, you do have the uh, armrest here, which will move laterally uh, just a little bit. They will slide forward and back and they will, of course, go up and down, which is super helpful because, you know, sometimes I play flight simulators and I have all these peripherals that I've got to move around. But then sometimes I just do, you know, a first person shooter. So the armrest can sometimes get in the way. So there's enough play there where it's not really getting in my way to do either one. Now, if you had a uh, collective or, or a throttle or something that you wanted to attach to the chair, I'm not familiar with those systems. so I couldn't tell you that, that you know, that it would be good or bad. Um, but I would say at the end of the day, if it connects to a regular office chair, it's probably going to connect to this one just fine. As for the seat itself, uh, underneath, it's got uh, two handles. Again, like most office chairs, it's got one that allows you to go up and down. And it's got the one on the left that will prevent the, uh, the base from reclining too far back. On the side handle here, back uh, by my hip, 
It's got another handle which will allow the seat to fully recline and it fully reclines. Additionally, it'll pull really far forward, which I don't know if that's a feature you're looking for, but if you are, it's right here. Anyhow, I guess the point that I'm getting at is there's a lot of mobility in the chair, so you really can set it up the way that you want. And uh, like I said, I can't say it enough how sturdy it is. Like it is really a chunky, heavy, solidly built chair. Um, and again, I'm, I'm being as honest as I can with that based on the office chair that I was using before, which is a little bit light and just kind of flopped around. Uh, this one is sturdy. The wheels are a thick plastic. I, I think it's plastic. Um, they, they seem to be pretty sturdy as well. I've got kind of a bumpy carpet because I'm not very good at laying down carpet. Uh, but I haven't had any problems with rolling it back and forth or getting caught on any cables or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's super mobile and uh, you can get where you need it to go. So let's talk about price. Uh, taking a look at the website, uh, and I'm not sure. I think they've got a promo going on right now. Uh, but this chair in particular is listed for $469, uh, down to $359. Now you may be asking yourself, would I spend that much on a chair? Uh, and I'll be honest with you. I'm a cheap miser as much as the next guy. And the answer would probably be no, I'm perfectly fine with this picnic chair that I found out in the yard. Um, but if you consider all of the things that you put into you know, playing your games, the peripherals. I mean, I'm looking at, I don't even want to say how much money I'm looking at when it comes to the flight sim gear that I have right here within reach. Uh, it, the chair pales in comparison to how much money I've spent on this kind of stuff. So when you think about it in those terms, how much money you're willing to spend to play video games, um, you know, you're using your butt about a hundred percent of the time. I use these things 50% of the time. So when you put it in those terms, you know, and you think about comfort, especially when you get a little bit older, like I am, you know, you, you want a lumbar support and you want a nice comfy chair that, that quite honestly, sometimes I'll just come back here and just sit and bask in the glory of the studios and just kind of relax in my chair. It's, it's, it's actually a nice chair. I really do like it. Uh, so I'm very appreciative to Ewen for reaching out to me and uh, offering this up. Take a look at the website. That's all I can say. Uh, go on over there. We do have the promo code again. I'll put it down in the description link below. And uh, if you decide that there's something in there that you like, go ahead and type it in. If you have an eWin uh, chair or you use one of their desks, you know, talk about it down in the description below in the uh, comments. Let us know what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, and if you're just sitting on something else, hey, what do you guys use? Are you sitting on old milk crates? Are you sitting on a chair that you found that somebody was throwing away down the street? I've done that. There's no shame in that. <laughs> it's a perfectly good chair. Uh, but uh, yeah, tell me what you're using down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. And uh, again, give Ewin a uh, look. Thank you very much to them for sending me this chair and uh, letting me do a review on it. And we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.